In this 310 Copilot tutorial, we'll cover how to find experimental protein structures that are similar to an input structure using a method called FoldSeq. Why might you want to do a structure-based lookup? Well, first, if you have an unknown protein and a sequence-based search didn't find anything interesting, you might want to do a structure-based lookup to figure out what your unknown protein does. Second, if you're trying to design a truly de novo protein, you'll want to show that it's structurally dissimilar to anything known. Third, if you're trying to design a particular function from scratch, then you'll want to show that it's structurally similar to a protein with that known function. Now, the easiest way to get started is to upload a PDB file with your structure of interest. Here, the example I'll use is 6NY8, which is a computationally designed helical bundle. This input is automatically named U1 and loaded into the visualizer on the right. You can then ask Copilot to find proteins with similar structure to U1. This runs FoldSeq against the PDB database. This is a database of experimentally determined protein structures, including crystallography, NMR, and cryo yin data. FoldSeq will return the top three results, naming the PDB ID and chain ID for the MAT, the E value, and the TM score. The E value is a measure of statistical significance, lower being more significant. Usually less than 0.001 would be considered significant. The TM score is a measure of structural similarity, one being perfectly aligned and zero being perfectly unaligned. Usually more than 0.5 would be considered structurally similar. You can do the same search on the FoldSeq web server. Here you upload your PDB file of interest and click the search button. You get your results on a new page and clicking on the target name will bring you to a page with more information on that one. Now, the results of this search are not particularly interesting because I used a file that comes from the database we're searching against. Next, let's find something that we know is not in the database. For example, you can ask Copilot to find a serine acetyltransferase with no PDB structure. Note here that the PDB column of the results is specifically empty. Now you can ask Copilot to do a fault search based on a Unipro ID. For example, what proteins are structurally similar to Q06750? Here we get another table with the top three results, and you can see that none of them are perfectly structurally aligned to the input. You can get a better look at each one by turning on or off the structures individually using the little circle to the left of each protein name in the visualizer. You can do the same lookup in Unipro. We can search the Unipro database with the Q06750 ID, go to the structure section, and then run FoldSeq from there. This loads the structure file for you, so you just need to click the search button. And like before, you can get your results in a new page. And again, you can click on the individual result to see more information. Remember that in 310 Copilot, you can export all of your results for further analysis by calling export, and you can share your sessions by sending the web URL. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.